At this point, I need to say something about empirical evidence. I've argued that the consequentialist question is partly an empirical question. That is, it's partly a question of how much the mistakes and abuses are likely to occur. And of course, it seems like the obvious thing to do there is to look at the social scientific studies. At the same time, we have to be cautious here. Why is that? Well, we have to be cautious for the following reason. As a philosopher of social science said to me one time, the more politically charged the issue, the worse the social science gets. Okay? So people's commitments and their emotions get in the way of getting objective scientific data. Now, there's also ob other obstacles such as the following. When we're talking about detection of abuses, people have different things that they would consider abuses. Right? And so that can affect the studies. Now, when I say this, I'm thinking particularly of two lines of arguments people give. Sometimes people will point to cases that seem to show that it can't be controlled. Right? In particular, the Netherlands and Belgium come up. Right? And there have been some disturbing developments in Belgium recently. On the other hand, people sometimes point to, say, Oregon and say, well, look, all these things people predicted haven't happened in Oregon. Right. Well, all I'll say about that is we have to be very careful about this because it's very easy to do what's called cherry picking your evidence. Right. There's 50 studies out there and you find the 20 that confirm your point of view. Right. And of course, people on the other side find the 20 and confirm that confirm their point of view, or the five that confirm their point of view, or whatever it is. Right? The other thing that has to be said is that some opponents of voluntary active euthanasia will say that A, some of the abuses are subtle and not easy to pick up, and B, they could take some time to develop. Right? Now, there's reasons to be suspicious of that argument. Right? When someone keeps saying, well, it's going to happen down the road, it's going to happen down the road, it's going to happen down the road, at what point do you say, look, you've had enough time to show us that it's going to happen, that we're going to count this as speculation? So there we have it, right? What I'm mainly saying is be careful when you appeal to empirical examples, right? particularly statistical evidence, right? because the statistical evidence on this kinds of issue tends to be unreliable. Now, I'm not saying we can ignore statistical, we can ignore statistical evidence altogether. Right? We just have to be realistic about how reliable it's likely to be.